Again, this is the tiny, tiny wee gold crest. This is the smallest bird in all of Europe. We have to handle them very quickly and efficiently because they have a small birds have a terrible habit of dying of a massive pot. They'll have a massive coronary and they'll die. So we're going to handle her very quickly. Um, I've done the examination, the wings and everything are fine, but she's out of energy, like many of the songbirds fall prey to in the winter. So I'm going to quickly get some some glucose into him, uh, him not her, sorry, it's a wee, wee male. Get some glucose into him and a, a small meal, and then we're going to put him back outside. He eats insta insects and very tiny seeds. And so uh, we'll go into the CCU for a couple of hours, and then um, I'll feed him one more time, and he's going to go straight back out into the wild. That's what we're meant to do here, and that's what what uh, the purpose of us is. I've got you under a big lens because he's just so small, it's hard to see him at all. Um, I'm going to try and open my hand a bit so you can see how small his body is, but he's just the tiniest little creature, and it's really difficult handling these small small guys. So um, I'm going to do it quickly and efficiently and then get him into the CCU. Okay, so we've got the glucose gel. We use a glucose gel. It's um, very concentrated. And I'm just trying to, sorry, I'm trying to video this myself, but I'm trying to um, just offer it to him at the end of his beak so that he can sip it. I don't want to force that tiny beak open. You can see how tiny it is. It's it's only about a millimeter at its tip. So I'm just putting it on the tip of his beak and letting him swallow slowly. Now you see I've placed it on the tip of his beak and he's slowly taking it in. Whilst he's taking it in, in just a few seconds, their metabolism is so fast, in just a few seconds he'll stop seeing him, start struggling, he'll start coming to life and trying to free himself. He'll go into the CCU, get a meal, a force-fed meal, and then he will be doing great. We'll just do it with it. I used to use matchsticks, but I, I actually like these. They're teeny tiny. I'm trying to see it here. It's a teeny tiny uh, cable lock. If I can find it. Anyway, it's it's very, very tiny. It's just the tip of a cable lock. I like them because they're flexible and they're blunted, so it can't hurt them. Now you can see the gel all over my fingers. I just keep putting it on the tip of his beak and, and put a tiny bit inside. I can slide the, the cable lock right inside of his mouth and it will get some more sugar, vitally needed energy for him. So he's taking it on his own now, look at that. He's actually taking it off my finger. It's fantastic, he's starting to really come alive. Come on, sweetheart, you can do it. The biggest concern, as I said, is watching out for heart, heart failure. You've got to really be gentle, keep your voice low and work slowly to get them on their feet, but then very quickly in terms of treatment and putting them into the CCU. Sweetheart, yeah, look, that tastes good, doesn't it? Well done, darling. Well done, darling. That's good, get some more. Well done, well done. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, sweetie, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, a little bit of glucose, there you go. Get your energy up. Good baby, good baby. Yes, 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 yes. Good baby. Tastes good, doesn't it? Oh, isn't that delicious? That'll give you some energy. They just run out of energy. If they don't have enough food, the small birds just, they're like little motors, like a wind-up toy. And once it's once the energy's gone, they become very vulnerable to prey. Good baby. Yes, that's what we like to see. Already on the road to recovery. You're going to be fine. Yes, we'll just get you on your feet and you go on your way. Yes. Isn't that delicious? You've never had anything like that before, have you? I might be rubbish in a co kitchen, but I'm quite good cooking for birds. There we go. Yes, there you go, darling. Sweet little wee man, little prince. You've got to get back out there and do what you do best. Yes, sweetheart. Well done. One more, and then a meal, all right? One more, and then a meal. There you go. Yes, sweetie. That's good. 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 Yes, there you go. There you go. Yes. There you go. Sweet little prince. There you go. You're like a little fairy prince, aren't you? Tiniest bird in all of Europe. Yes. Gold crests are charming. They have a very high-pitched um, uh, cry, and people over 30 have difficulty even hearing it because 
because it is so high, the frequency is so high. A little bit of trivia there for you. Okay, that's going to be plenty to get him started. There we go, darling. There you go, let him have what he wants. And then we'll go to seeds and see if I can't find a smaller bit of mealworm to sustain him and get him with some a little more uh, substantial energy source. Sweet wee man. That's the gold crest. Please eat, sweetie. Come on. Come on. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, darling. Come on. Come on. Mealworms are fantastic for stimulating them visually, and this is one of the best things we can do uh, for small songbirds, especially, to get them interested in eating again. Once they they go and they, when they get sickly, it's more difficult to get them to eat. Yeah, stay right here. I see you. Stay right here. There you go. Good baby. Yes, I've got you. Good baby. Good baby. I've got you. It's okay. Stay right here, okay? Stay right here. Yeah, stay right there. Good baby. There we go. Good job. Yes. So tiny. Just, just a wee creature. I don't know if you can see. Just a wee creature. No, no, no. You stay right here. You just stay right here with me. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good baby. Yes. That energy's kicking in. Yes. I see you. I see you. You see, yes, that's good. That's good, darling. That's good. That's good. No, you stay right here. Stay where I can see you. We're going to go into the CCU again, okay? No, you stay right here. Stay right here. Good baby. Good baby. That's an excellent sign. Excellent. So we've got him in the CCU now, but um, he's quite taken to me, and it's hard to see through the through the plexiglass. But he doesn't want to come off my finger. So I'm just standing here. Let's see if I can raise it. But he's he's rather taken to me, I think. He's not wanting to get down. Oh, there he goes. Good and good, okay. So we just let him stay in there. It's kept it's in humidity and temperature controlled. So that's where he needs so to be. So whilst for a bit. the gold crest is in the critical care unit, um, I'm going to also offer water as well as food, but the water will be uh, infused with the Agaform Electroform uh, restorative electrolyte serum that also has dextrose in it. Um, critical care units are essential in caring for birds that are ailing. Uh, however, all of them have the same problem, and ours is no exception. They do tend to dehydrate. So, offering a, a, just a wee vessel of water um, fortified with uh, the correct amount of electrolyte powder in a serum and a uh, dextrose serum in the water is essential for them to stay alive because you can save a bird from an injury or an illness but if they dehydrate then everything's for naught. So uh, we'll put that in with him just now along with some seeds and some bits of mealworm. The wee goldcrest is now on his own. He's taken one forced meal and he's taken one um, a meal on his own. Uh, he took bits of a mealworm and he took seeds and uh, one more small dose of glucose which he, he seems quite quite keen on now and he is out in the wild and that's fantastic we couldn't be more happy. Yet another bird often out in the wild where it belongs. May he have many babies.